Hi, in this video, we are going to see how to reverse a singly linked list. So in case you have already done with the linked list, with the basics of linked list, then this is a question that comes up after you have done with the basics like find length of the linked list traversing a linked list. And this is one of the questions that you will come across. Okay, so let's just try and solve this particular problem. It would be really great if you know this program really well or you know how to reverse a link singly linked list really well. It's going to help you in writing the big programs of singly linked list as well. Okay, so when I say write a code to reverse a linked list, which means if your linked list is something like this, after the reversal, it should look something like this. You should have 8, 9, 7, and 4, and null. Okay, this is how my reverse linked list will look. So one of the options we have to swap the values, but we won't swap the values. We have to change the links. Okay, we have to reverse by changing the links. So let's just see how we can do it. Okay, so as you can see that if somehow I do this thing that the next of 7 is 4, the next of 9 is 7, and the next of 8 is 9. We just want that the previous node should act as the next node. So let's say what we do is that let's just concentrate on these two nodes, okay? And then we'll see if we could come up with something generalized. So let's say this is the first node. We want that 4 next should be null, okay? And we want that 7 next should be 4, okay? So let's say I keep a pointer prev. And I initialize it with null. Okay. Now what we will do is we will put for next is equal to prev. Okay. Now I have done for next is equal to prev. Now what we have to do is we have to do seven next is equal to four. So what I will do is I'll make prev equal to four. But as you can see that as soon as I do this, that for next equal to prev, we will lose our access to this particular node. So even before we do this, we have to ensure that we keep the next stored. So we will do, we'll keep a variable next, which will store for next. Okay, so we have next is equal to four next. So I have something pointing to next, pointing to seven. I'm not losing it, okay. So what I did, I did four next equal to prep. So this ensures that the next of four is null. Now I want that the next of seven should be four. So what I'll do is whatsoever I want the value to be next, I just keep it in prep, okay? So I'll keep prep is equal to four. And what I'll do is I'll do seven next is equal to prep. But again, before I do seven next is equal to prep, I have to ensure that I keep the next in this next. So I'll keep next is equal to four next. Okay, so now, you know, I'm, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to somehow generalize. So here I see that I'll need three things. Number one, I need a prev. Number two, I need a next. And one more thing that I need is current. So basically current is the one whose next is getting changed. Current is the one whose next is getting changed. Prev is the one which is being current's next. And next is the actual next of current, okay? Let's just try and see that if using these three, we can generalize the code or write the code or not, okay? So what we did, we had the prev, we initialized prev to null, okay? And then we had current. So let's say initially current was head. Current was equal to head, okay? This is my head, the head is pointing to the first node. Now I have current is equal to head and let's say I initialize next also as. So now let's say I have to change the next of all the nodes, okay? So we'll obviously have to run a loop because first I'm doing that for four, then for seven, then for eight, nine, then for eight. We'll see how long the loop will run. What we will do is we'll keep our next stored, okay? Then what we will do is we'll point the next of current to prev current next is equal to prev okay so what i have done is let's say this is my next i have stored that in next the current next is equal to prev so after this particular operation right now for this particular node the next of four will be null after this what do i want i want that the next of seven should be four so what i have to do is i have to update my prev to current okay and also, I have to update my current as well. So initially, 
current was 4 now I have to update it to 7 because I have to change next of 7 so I'll update my current to next okay so I think these are the operations that we have to perform I have right now I've just come to this using these two nodes I'll just run this completely and till when I am going to do this I'm going to do this till I get my current is equal to null so I'll just put a condition here so this is a small place let's say I put it here so I'll just put that current not equal to null so let's say while I'm traversing and I come to this particular place which means I have already reversed the complete list so let's see what happens after we perform these operations let's just dry run the this particular thing so let's get started so initially my prev is null current is head so initially my prev is null current is pointing here let me write c u r okay and next is also null initially now what happens is that i come here i check will current is is current null which is not the case so the, we'll get inside the loop this becomes true current is not null then we do next equal to current next so next starts pointing to 7 what we do is current next equal to prev so 4 next becomes null because prev was null so 4 next becomes null okay now what we do is we put prev equal to current so now my prev becomes 4 okay and then we do current equal to next my current becomes 7 so my current starts pointing to this particular place this is my current this gets gone okay now again we go here we check current is equal to null that is not the case this becomes true we again do next equal to current next so now this link gets broken this is the next this is my new next i check that i what i do is i do current next equal to prev so now what is my prev 4 so 7 next becomes 4 so next of 7 becomes 4 okay this is how my list looks right now and then what happens is that we update our prev to current so my prev becomes 7 and my current becomes next so now current starts pointing to 9 this is my current okay now I again run the loop this becomes true we do next equal to current next so now next starts pointing to 8 and what we do is current next equal to prev as soon as we do current next equal to prev this particular link gets broken and what happens is that current next equal to prev prev is 7 so we get a new link like this now next is pointing to 8 that is why it's really important that we keep track of the node as we keep on changing links else we lose the track or sometimes we get uh, runtime errors as well okay so now this is my new list i update my prev to current so now my prev becomes 9 okay now what happens is that we do current equal to next so now current starts pointing to 8 so now this is my latest current okay again what i'll do is i'll do next equal to current next so now next starts pointing to null okay so now my next becomes null we have current next equal to prev so 8 next equal to 9 this is what happens 8 next is equal to 9 prev is equal to current so now our prev becomes 8 prev becomes 8 current equal to next my current becomes null and what happens is that we have we come back here we check if current is null yes current is null so we come out of this loop but as you can see that my head is still pointing to 4 my head is still pointing to 4 so what will happen is that head will always point to the first node of the list so what i have to do is as soon as i come out of this loop i have to add a line such that head points to the first node and as we can see that we have kept our 8 still in prev so prev is still pointing to 8 so what i'll do is i'll add one line that head is equal to prev okay so now this will give me the complete code head will be pointing to this node so this is how we reverse a linked list in a iterative way so let's just write down the code proper code so we haven't taken any particular thing we haven't you know taken the node or the class or proper pointers but we will do that when we write the code so let's just go ahead and write the code now let's just go ahead and write the code for reversing it so now let's see whatever we have thought that is going to work we'll write the code and see if that is working or not okay so we have the reverse function here we have already created the list we'll be creating the list uh, and we have written the function for that let's just go ahead and write code for reverse okay so we'll have a prev node which is equivalent to null initialized to null we'll have current 
which will be initialized to head and then we'll have next which again we initialize to null only okay now we will run a loop the loop goes till we just go across all the elements so the loop is having the condition that current should not be equal to null okay then what we do is we store the next of current in next then we just put the next of current to prev we update our prev to current and we update our current to next and outside the loop we'll simply update our head to prev so what happens in this case is as you can see it is a double pointer which means i'm passing address of the node which means I'm passing address of the head. So whatever changes are made in the head will reflect in the calling function also, which is main. So here, when we do head is equal to prev, when we point head to prev, which means that this change will be consistent in between the functions. So let's just run this code and see if things are working fine or there's something we need to change. Okay. So we will give the number of nodes, let's say it's six, then we have one, two, three, four, five, six. These are the nodes. So as you can see, original list is one, two, three, four, five, six, and the reverse list is six, five, four, three, two, one. So make sure you write the code on your own and try this as well, okay?